Hey everybody, this is Elvis. Welcome to another edition of This Day in Rock and Roll History. Today is March 7th, and we're going to go back to March 7th in 1962 and let you know what was happening on that day and every March 7th until we get back here today. Alright, so I urge you to sit down, buckle up, and let's get rolling. March 7th, 1962, the Beatles recorded their first radio appearance at the Playhouse Theater in Manchester for the BBC radio program, Teenager's Turn. Here we go. March 7th, 1966, Brian Wilson released Caroline No, the first solo single by the Beach Boy. March 7th, 1966, Tina Turner recorded her vocal on Phil Spector produced River Deep Mountain High and went on to make number three in the UK but only number 88 on the US chart. March 7th, 1969, Led Zeppelin appeared at Blueville 69 Club. The venue was a room at the back of a pub that was so small the stage was only big enough for Don Bonham's drums. The rest of the group had to stand on the floor at the same level as the crowd. March 7, 1970, Simon and Garfunkel album Bridge Over Troubled Water started a 10-week run at number one on the U.S. chart. The duo had already split it at the time of their release. March 7, 1973, a song from the movie Deliverance called Dueling Banjos became one of the few 1970 instrumentals to be awarded a gold record. The record had topped the Cash Box Magazine bestsellers list and reached number two on Billboard Hot 100 and struck fear in men everywhere. March 7, 1975, David Bowie released a ninth studio album, Young American. The album marked a departure from the glam rock style of Bowie's previous album. March 7, 1987, the Beastie Boys became the first rap act to have a number one album in the U.S. with their debut album, License to Ill. March 7, 1991, the readers of Rolling Stone magazine voted George Michael the best male singer and sexiest male artist. March 7, 1998, Madonna went to number one on the U.K. singles chart with Frozen, her eighth U.K. number one taken from her dance influence album, Ray of Light. March 7, 2012, sales of albums by the Monkees soared following the death of Davy Jones. Best of the Monkees re-entered the Billboard charts at number 20, with sales of over 170,000 units. All right, those were the happenings on March 7th in rock and roll history. If you want to find out more about what's happening in rock and roll history, there's a link down below. I urge you to go down there and hit that link and pull up whatever information your heart desires, all right? And until I see you again, this is Old Felba saying, I die,